Hey YouTube, um, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I got. My tackle box highlight, I'm making a channel about me and my cousin are about fishing and stuff, and just zipper worm company, best company there is. Um, stuff like that, yeah, I just kind of want to show you some of the basics. Some of my lures, not everything, of course. And yeah, it's just some stuff. Make a video, you know. <clears throat> I just got a tackle box. My feet are my very first box. Let me see if you can zoom out here. Zipper Worm Company. Best worm company. Um, it's not filled up yet. Oh crap, I got the budget. It's not filled up with zippers. I only get three slots filled up with zippers. Actually, which isn't good. The zipper crawl, which is an awesome bait. It is. Let me get it out here. You can see that it is like a huge. It's kind of like a beaver bait, but they got the ribs and zippers. Here, I got it my nose. Okay, but, uh, yeah. But, you know how usually when crayfish or crawfish, whatever you want to call them, they go up and do a fighting stance so they stand up like they want to fight? And that's what this bait does. It stands up, and trust me, I used them for the first time, and they're, they're great. Um, great flipping bait. You cut a couple ribs off. Cut a couple of ribs off and make them a jig trailer, but uh, yeah, great bait. Um, next one is just the zipper worm. The ribs, Aaron Martin's pretty much made this worm. He made a couple colors for himself. This is just the standard watermelon worm. Great worm for shaky head and stuff in Texas rigging. Oh, with the paddle tail, that's great bait. And then this is one of the hand pours they have. This is called the pudgy, which is by far probably my one of my favorite baits by Zipper. Um, fish will have quite a few other baits, just I don't have too many of them right now. Pudgy, great for just a jig, jig head rig, drop shot, shaky head, stuff like that. You can even Texas rig it real small in Texas. Slow finesse, great bait. Um, and then you can see, I keep most of my jigs in here. Um, let's start with this side. My favorite jigs are Omega. This is an Omega jig. They're all the same colors right here. It's like craw color. Um, just different weights. Got some smaller ones. And stuff, so I'll put those back. Here's my more like, you know, like bright orange, just craw color. This is a Berkeley. A nice jig. Really nice. Um, this is a Northland jig. Again, the belly. It's a great jig. And then this is another Omega jig. This is their finesse jig. <laughs> Got the good old black and blues. This is a Berkeley black and blue finesse jig. Really light jig. This is like an Omega black and blue. But it's like black and brownish. Or blue and brown. But I put it in there. It's close enough. Um, this is a North, another Northland black and blue jig. And this is one of Gander Mountain's jigs, which is really sweet, actually. I kind of like it. It's black and blue. It's got, like, a flat head to it. Football, like, flat head football, but it's sweet. Just my more natural browns. Straight King football head jig. Um, here's an Omega football head jig. And here's another one of those Gander Mountain flat head jigs. Um, right here I have... This will be out of this box here pretty soon, but it's Berkeley Havoc. It is the 3.5 inch, oh my god, slop craw, which I am a fan of how it looks. Looks sweet, as I'm pulling out here. Sweet bait, but I see that one under his the part I bit off of it. I can't, the part I hate about this bait, well, see, this is the belly of it where you hook it, and it has that thing, and I hate it. It's dumb. Bite it off, or whatever. But, let me put those back in the bag, and put the camera down for a Okay, and then, next is some net bait, packer craw, baby packer craw. These are great. This is like purple June bug, my bad. June bug. I like to put a bowl of weight and a rattle in there. Great, great bait. And then last but not least, I got Berkeley Havoc again. The watermelon red Larry Nixon design. Bottom hopper. Oops. I need to bag 
five inches, so it's going to look like it's going just like any other finesse worm. Down here. It's like any other finesse worm. Berkeley Havoc. Supposed to be. Looks like pretty sweet bait. I haven't used them before. I'm looking forward to. But I'm not looking forward to anything more than fishing my zippers. But uh, here we go. My falcon bag. Restoring. Yeah, everything in here, perfect plastics, more perfect plastics, X factors, zooms, young, gander mountain, trader eggs, young moto, striking young moto. Trigger X. Just a bunch of plastics. Um, great bait box. One of them. This is just a little light one I carry around. Got everything. We got the repellers in here, the really deep ones. Oh, 15 to 20 footers. Um, I guess these are my bandits and other really deep ones. And then this is just my certain depths right here. Somo. Bomber, more bombers, Repella DT, one of my favorite lures right here, Bandit Splatterback, the Square Mill, my favorite DT, Repella Six Foot, Bluegill Colored, and then my, my favorite, probably my favorite crankbait of all time, Striking 1.5. This is Desert Shed Colors, my favorite color because I have so many of those, they're upstairs though. It's just kind of my DT square bills are a 2.5 right here in case I need it. Okay, and then we got our clacking wraps, Excalibur Cross, Daiwa, and just a bunch of lip blisses. And let's see right here. This is just stuff I just carried around today because it's spring. And I, know I wasn't carrying all my tackle, full weights, mainly your know, main weight. Tungsten, drop shot, and quick shot weights. Just random hooks and iron in their packages. I'm getting too close here. And then the bigger flipping weights I use. Hooks, shaky head hooks. Got some owners, got my got twos. Owners, just a bunch of stuff. Got some just an assorted amount of blade baits, spinner baits. Oh, what else we got? This is. Frog, sweet frog. These, it's all sorry from right here. The legs, they flutter back. It's a great flut frog. It's better than any of the sprows and everything else. Got a nose hook, which I don't really like, but still, you can throw it anywhere. Plus, you know how when you're fishing your spro frogs and you catch, you know, you float, I mean, you catch a good amount of fish, around 20 bass, but then they start getting holes in them and they fill up with water and then they sink. And it's not worth it, ten, 10 bucks a frog, to just have a sink after, you know, a certain amount of fish. This thing will last. It'll get really rugged, beat up looking, but, I mean, the bass can only see it from underneath. They hit it. I mean, so, you know, as long as it sort of looks like a frog and has the same action and stuff, it's fine. Um, in here, this is one of the Gander Mountain boxes. I gotta sit down right I just got some Berkeley's. Berkeley Hog, some Zoom U Tail, some Zoom Swamp Crawlers, uh, some Berkeley Cross, Berkeley Trigger Cross, Cinnamon, Watermelon Color, and yeah, some Berkeley 10 inch worms, Watermelon Candy and stuff. And I got some Power Worms, Watermelon, and then Pumpkin and Seed. And right here, we got some, my, pretty much my flipping baits. Um, some Gator Mountain Hogs, Straight King Rage Tails, Brush Beavers, or Brush Hogs, some Cross, some Gator Mountain Creatures, what the heck is that? Yum, Money Craw, Yum, Wooly Bugger, Devil Spear, but Berkeley Havoc, Pit Boss, Berkeley Havoc, Craw Fatty, some Yamamoto Flapping, Flapping Hogs. And here I just got some other little 
I'm gonna get my top water, so you get my favorite top water, so then I get some deeper. Um, Shad wraps, reef runners, some jerk baits, some old original repellents for striking, some other smalls. So, there, and my big DT20 and DT14, but yeah, that's pretty much everything in there. Um, next, I guess I'll just show you my rod. It is a Shimano Convergence, my new crankbait. I got a lot of other rods. Best rod out there for the price I paid 60 bucks for it. This is a Shimano Convergence. Best rod. I mean, it is not seven foot. It's medium heavy, but really soft tip. As you can see. Oh, I can't. Yeah, right there. Soft tip. It's my crankbait rod. I got a Fluger Edgelon on there. It's red. It's kind of ugly, but it's a great reel. I love the reel. Six ball bearing, six three to one gear ratio. Um, the rod itself is so light, plus it's real and super light too, but I, I got a Strike King swim jig on there, I was fishing it, you know, because it's kind of like fishing a crankbait, so I put that on there and it works perfect for swim jigs, so it's my swim jig and crankbait rod, I'll probably get a couple more of them, more of jig rods and stuff, but uh, yeah, you guys, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.